When we think of fairies, we think of tiny, cute creatures with beautiful wings and a playful disposition. But not all members of the fae world are benign and sweet. The changeling is an entity that is found in the mythology of many cultures around the world. A changeling is a fairy that has been left in place of a human baby. Fairies abduct human babies for various reasons. In European folklore, fairies often covet human babies because of their beauty. In some cases, they might mean harm. In Scandinavian mythology, the abductors are said to be trolls, and in Nigeria, the Igbo people traditionally believed in a malicious spirit called the Ogbanje, who tormented expectant mothers and newborn babies. According to most cultures, a changeling is identifiable due to its unique appearance. They might seem older than they are, with long teeth, sometimes facial hair. They also have the ability to speak and possess unusual intelligence and a supernaturally ravenous appetite. The saddest part about this myth, though, is the fact that many children in the past were abused and even killed due to this belief in changelings. Babies with malformed limbs or other defects were often the victims of this belief. It's a relief, then, that we live in a world where education has made us wiser and these attitudes no longer prevail in the modern world, except maybe in the form of myths and stories. The following story comes from a writer named Thomas Kitely in his work The Fairy Mythology, published in 1828. Kitely wrote extensively about changelings from across Europe and the following tale describes an incident from Scotland that may or may not have happened. A fine child in Nithsdale was observed on the second day after its birth and before it was baptized to have taken on an ill-favorable appearance. It's yelling every night deprived the whole family of rest. It bit and tore its mother's breasts and would lie neither in the cradle nor the arms. The mother, being one day obliged to go from home, left it in the charge of the servant girl. The poor lass was sitting bemoaning herself. Were it not for that gurning face of yours, she said to the baby, I would winnow the corn and grind the meal. Lower the cradle band, said the baby. Distract the neighbors and I will do your work. And up he started. The window rose, the corn was chopped, the outliers were fodded. The hand mill moved around as if by instinct, and the knocking mill did its work with amazing rapidity. The lass and child then rested till, on the approach of the mistress, it was restored to the cradle and it renewed its cries. The girl took the first opportunity of telling the adventure to her mistress. What will we do with the wee devil? said she. Leave it to me, said the lass. And at midnight, the chimney top was covered up and every chink and cranny was stopped. The fire was blown till it was glowing hot and the maid speedily undressed the child and tossed him on the burning coals. He shrieked and yelled in the most dreadful manner and in an instant the fairies were heard moaning on every side and rattling at the windows, door and chimney. Bring back the baby, cried the lass to the fairies. Bring back our baby. The window flew open, and the real child was laid on the mother's lap, and the wee devil, the changeling,
flew up the chimney laughing.